Hello and welcome to Drawing with the Monkeys. Oh, see, I anticipated you, Charlie. You're getting old. You're getting, you're getting predictable in your old age. Uh, I'm Dad. Monkey. And he's Charlie Monkey. Mon I'm, I'm Monkey. Okay, Monkey. Um, monkey. Today we're drawing Gus Gorilla from. It's Monkey. Willie's Wonderland, that's right. Monkey. Thank you to Chase Campbell and Willie Weasel. I said monkey like 30 times off video. So that's we're true. To get old. It is. That was the point of me having monkey. to start saying it beforehand. Monkey. All right. Yeah, so thank you. Oh, you already did that part. Awesome. So, Mr. Monkey, hmm. are you ready to draw? Monkey. It's not a monkey. It's actually monkey. a monkey. It's actually a gorilla. Close enough to monkey. Well, they don't you have a, a monkey. A gorilla is a kind of ape. You a monkey. Because they don't have a tail. You. And as we know, if it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. Why not the dog's monkey? Because it got tails. Well, see, that's the whole point of that song. You know what? Let's just get into it. So I'm gonna start by drawing this eyelid across here. Monkey. Because it crosses in front of this eye. And let's go ahead and do the top of that lid. As well did as... Did, he, did Benny get my Nerf gun? I don't know. I think he got my Nerf gun. I'm not gonna complete the eye yet because I see in my reference image that the nose actually crosses in front of it. But what I'm gonna do is repeat that process on this side. Yeah, this is starting to die a little. You're, oh, the, the pen's starting to die? Let's see, why don't you try that one? I bet Miles and Hannah have been pressing so hard that it's killing the markers. Yep, when in doubt, blame a younger sibling. I mean, that's always happens I would do Bennett. that. I would do that, but I don't actually have any. I am the younger sibling, so. Maybe I should defend them instead as a fellow younger sibling. All right, same deal here. I'm gonna start that, but I'm not gonna finish it because the gorilla nose is in the way, which I'm gonna draw next. And these are not quite circles. They're a little bit flattened um, on the inside. So keep that in mind as you're drawing them. They're like ovals, right? Mostly circular, slightly elongated, and then flatter on the middle. And now that we've done that, we can... Monk. We can stop monkeying around. <laughs> Monk. <laughs> and we can fill that in. Awesome. And Everything was fine until Monkey decided that he wanted to become Gorilla and not Monkey. Uh, yeah, totally. What he said. So there's his eyes. Those that half-lighted thing kind of makes him look a little lazy, but that's okay. You know, sometimes you just want to monkey around. That's literally what I do every second. I'm not on the video and in the video. I think that I should have gotten some of my monkey my monkey puns out. I'm not gonna say the word monkey a hundred times like Charlie is, but. What, how dare you, that's not funny. If you say monkey, <laughs> then it's really funny to. All right, calm, calm down, buddy. Awesome, so we got the, um, the sort of frontal part of the face done. Now his lip does curl up here a little bit. I don't know enough about that if that's an intentional design thing on their part or like, you know, kind of give him a scowly look or if that's just Monkey. an area where he was damaged. I don't remember that being addressed in the movie. Oof, that was a rough line. That's okay. Let's add in some teeth, which are just essentially rounded off uh, rectangles. How you doing, Chuck? Monkey. Check in with Chuck. He's doing good. God, did Bennett just try to kill me? No, I threw a marker at you. You killed me. Bennett threw a marker at us during the video? Gosh. The Be professionalism on Drawing with the Blakeleys is really quite low. Well, I mean, we have literally like a four-year-old drawing, so you can't get too professional with this. We don't have any, we don't have a four-year-old in our family. What are you talking about? Then we have Hannah, and she's like, what, two? Five, yeah, she turned six. five like six months ago. Five, six months. She's, she's like, not great. she isn't a ha a year old. Bennett, you threw a marker at us in the video, so I'm just gonna. 
Don't scream too loud, but. Mm. Yowza. <laughs> Just, Yours just, reminds me a little bit of like the Bored Ape uh, NFT. Bored Ape? If you buy the NFT for this, then you clearly do not have a life. Well, this, I don't, as NFTs far as I know, there's not, not a Gus Gorilla NFT, although pff, maybe I'm totally off base. Ben, I put the gun away! That's funny, I had a couple of students this week ask me if I could draw them an NFT. First, they made an NFT of me, so there is actually a... a NFT of me out there, but it's just on paper, but still. Do you have an NFT of you, Charlie? I, I didn't mean, think so. on the dark web, there's got to be an NFT of me. I don't think there is. I don't think... I'm sorry, I love you, but I don't think you're... Even your nerf gun by me. All right. So. What? You yeah, mean? sorry, Charlie. You're just not... You're just not mean material. I don't... I'm sorry that, that... I'm sure that's a massive insult, but... I just don't... You're just not enough of a bored ape, I guess is what I'm saying. Oh, good. Now I am feathering this line quite a bit, um, and there's gonna be a lot of that in this video, just to kind of capture the um, monkey. Yeah, the the furriness of Gus. Let's go ahead and draw his tie next. Ever notice that a tie is really just a big arrow that points towards your feet? That's what hands are for. Pointing at your feet? Yeah, every time. Is that, that what you use your hands for, Charlie? Just point at your feet? Yes. So I know who I'm stepping on. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Then it can clarify because I Clever. definitely did not take in the second where I was like just not saying anything to step on his foot. I didn't even notice. I guess I'm too focused on drawing. Maybe that's always been my problem, Charlie. This is going to stop being drawing with the Blakelys and it's going to be start uh, psychoanalyzing Dad Blakely. Now let's go ahead and do Spying his chest here. But that's a nice bird you're looking at. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start to do his arm using that same feathering line technique that we saw. You do want to vary it up ever so slightly, otherwise it's going to look weird. Human, or really even do dog animal hairs, they don't always lie in the exact same direction. So having a random one going up in a different direction is usually a good thing. Okay. And we're at the point now where we can draw Gus's hand down here. Gorillas have pretty long arms, so keep that in mind as you're drawing. Oh, I should probably do his thumb next, actually. You can feather this line as well. Even if it's already drawn, we can always go back and feather it. I think I'm gonna do that. Up to about there, and then we'll bring the line of his body down. But I do now want to do that same thing on the other side. We'll just kind of define where the outside edge of him is. And we don't have to do this everywhere. I think probably my strategy for this is going to be to feather this line along the outside to color him in a pretty dark green or dark gray. And then to come back through with my... Um, chalk pastels and do green highlights in the same kind of feathery way uh, across his body to give the that texture of fur. That's my plan as of right now. Alright. I think that's probably sufficient. Let's do... I'm going to start with this thumb on this hand. Blowing the proportions just a little bit with the uh, with that first finger. That's okay. It does sometimes happen. Even even me, the dad himself. This is a pro Fortnite gamer. Please <laughs> end me now. 
Uh, you know what, if you ever become a pro Fortnite gamer, I probably will. All right, so now let's go back up here around where his armpit's gonna be, and we're gonna start to Please, do. I started to get cringy. I can't. I keep. I keep randomly just yelling among us, and I really, I really want to please end me. You are I'm still talking cringe. about how things are sus all these months later. No, I'm not. Everyone. <laughs> every time in my class, somebody like a girl gets in two in like gets in a mile radius of a girl's like. Like it's getting annoying. And okay, I think okay, it's Charlie. Okay, hi. Yes, hi. yes. I'm gonna go so ahead and. Snap back to reality. What did you say? You said snap back to reality. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, boy, now that the Super Bowl halftime show has happened, uh, I feel like Bennett's gonna be all all over that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's switch back over here. And let's do that I feather. M and M was like pronounced like the candy, like an M, and then. Like M and M, not M and M. Just like the candy. <laughs> M and M. I think the rapper spells it phonetically. All right, so we got his foot here now. I'm gonna go ahead and define the top of that. Have his sort of blunt toes coming out here. You mean his regular toes? Sure, his regular toes. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's a ticket, Charlie. That's a ticket. The specific Bennett. I'm not going to name a specific Bennett. I mean, there's only really, um, I mean, there's a non specific Bennett I could mention that has toes. I mean, there was a Bennett I know that has toes. Well, there's probably also. two Bennett's you know of who has toes. There's that no, 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 Bennett no. as well. I mean, I, I, I think he does. You don't really, have, you don't really know him very well. I, I, I don't. I have a feeling that if you don't know somebody, then they probably actually don't have feet. I mean, there's no way of proving that they have feet if you don't know Ever. them. If you don't look at their shoes, I, I bet the viewers. Well, now they probably have feet if they have shoes and they're able to walk around. What they might not have is toes, Charles. Let's be precise in our terms here. I mean, they might not have feet either. I'm almost certain he has feet. Although I cannot say I've ever seen him without his shoes on. Not the same case for our, your brother Bennett, who unfortunately I've seen many times without his shoes on, and it's never a pleasant. Because he's always eating his feet, always biting on his toes. I tell I, every time he does it, I just slap him like, "Hey, cut that out." Okay, so a few other places. This might not be fully necessary, but I am gonna do it just for textural reasons. I'm going to define the bottom of his jaw here using that same feathered line. And actually I'm gonna come from this side. I find if you go more or less in the direction that it, it's hard to explain, but that you get a better feathered result. There is also that's kind south, of a... That's south, that's like down from them. Well, like I'm feathering it in this direction as I go, and I feel like that gives you a more natural looking I mean, feathering just, effect. I mean, this looks uh, not very natural, but I mean it works. It gives it a sort of, it gives it the texture look, but it also gives it sort of a sense of um, like implied volume, I guess, is what I would say. He does have sort of that, um... Look at this monkey. Look at this monkey. Oh. <laughs> Please end me. Oh, don't worry. I will. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna do too much more in terms of... I made the This lines. feathering, just because I'm gonna do a lot of it with color. This is the only way it actually... The lines actually start appearing. We Sometimes with the these run low dying. on ink, you wanna hold it more upright. You hold it at an angle, it doesn't work as well. Anyway. I'm just, oh no, my foot is disproportionate. No, one leg is just longer than the other. That's okay. It's disproportionate. Anyhow, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, pff. oh my gosh. I'm just looking at this and I realized I didn't do any top teeth on it. Yes, job. you just, I did it, but you didn't. I'm, I was like, I'm sitting here looking at a reference image going, something's different. Awesome, okay. Now, let's add some color and add a little bit more texture. Yes.
monkey. Woo! Charlie, I think it's time to stop monkeying around and finish this video. <laughs> we did it, we made monkey. monkey. All those, all those uh, things that we, I thought we'd gotten out of our system at the beginning of the video, apparently not. We, we also, this video took a few tries, so it's actually been several hours since we started this, but you know what? We finished it. We did it. Woo! We are the champions, my friends. And you know what? We'll keep on fighting till the end. Awesome. So, let's do all the usual stuff. Um, like, hey. subscribe, exit thing. Um, yep. Yeah. On your screen, you see our logo. Don't forget to click on that to subscribe. Or the red subscribe button down below. Ring the bell to be notified. Don't forget to smash the like button. And of course, like, comment, and leave your suggestions down below in the comments. Yes. We do look at them all, or at least try to, all the ones that YouTube actually shows us. Most of it's the actually a lot of work going around and trying to find every single comment. Just do it on the most recent video and not like some old three-year-old video and you're most likely until next time friends goodbye bing, bing.